I dislike using a facial mask. I dislike using this thing, right? I dislike using this thing. It's, it's suffocating. Uh, it's uncomfortable. Uh, makes you hot. Uh, but they say that it should prevent the spread of the disease. You just have to wait and see. You find out for yourself. After a moment, and let's talk about interview questions during COVID-19 or during the lockdown era that we're living through right now. It's on the tip of everybody's tongue. So you might have to go to an interview or you might be in a discussion with somebody, just normal conversation, and these type of questions could come up. Now, our focus for today is not just the, the questions that we're going to practice, but the focus is on the durian verb and the infinitive verb. So uh, just to bring you up to speed, what are gerunds and infinitive verbs? Well, a gerund verb is a verb that's followed by the verb in the ing form. An example of this would be the verb enjoy. So for instance, I enjoy being, being is the verb in the ing form, followed after this type of gerund verb. So specifically after this type of verb, you have to, you must use a verb in the ing form. That's a gerund verb. There's a specific group or category of verbs that you can uh, look up on the internet. An infinitive verb is a verb that's followed by the preposition to and the verb in the base form. Uh, for instance, take a look at the verb would like. So would like is always followed uh, by the preposition to and the verb in the base form. So in this example, um, I would like to go on vacation. So this is uh, the preposition to, and go would be the verb in the base form. So that's an infinitive. Now we've got verbs that behave differently. These type of verbs have the best of both worlds. Uh, you can use a gerund or an infinitive after it. Uh, an example of this, of course, is the verb like, which is super common. With the verb like, you can either use the gerund form, ing form, for instance, I like doing exercise, or you could use the infinitive form, which is the preposition to, followed by the verb in the base form. In this example, I like to learn online. So with these type of verbs, you can either use the infinitive or the gerund verb. So I recommend uh, downloading a list from the internet so you guys can check out which type of verbs uh, you have to focus on. So, but for today's practice, we're going to focus on a couple of these verbs. We're going to focus on the verb like. Uh, we're also going to focus on the verb enjoy. Enjoy is uh, a gerund verb. We're going to work with the verb hate. Hate uh, can either be followed by a gerund or an infinitive. So both forms are allowed. The verb dislike is only a, a gerund verb, so you can only follow dislike with another activity or another action with a verb in the ing form. The verb miss is only a uh, gerund verb, so you need, uh, this verb needs to be followed by an ing form as well. Recommend. Recommend is also a gerund verb. It's also followed by another verb in the ing form. That's it. You can't use the affinity with these miss and recommend verbs. Um, let's see. And the verb uh, would like. Now, would like, of course, is an infinitive verb, which means it's going to be followed by the preposition to and the verb in the base form. Okay, so we, now that we got that out of, out of the way, let's talk about the good stuff over here. Let's talk about the questions that uh, I want. I recommend that uh, you guys practice. So first, we got this question over here. It says, how do you keep yourself busy during lockdown? How do you keep yourself busy? Uh, you know, how do you keep yourself occupied? Um, here, I chose this little phrase to get you started. Start by saying, during lockdown, I like doing exercise. During lockdown, I like to learn online and I like to support my friends, especially friends with small businesses, you know? Uh, you got to support your friends with small businesses by buying from them, you know? So I like to support my friends with small businesses. Question number two, what do you enjoy doing with your family during lockdown? I hope it's not playing board games all the time, uh, but... My family and I enjoy being together. Just being together is the best thing. You know, if, you, if you're living with your family 
or if you have the privilege to live with your family, I know that most of us don't have that uh, privilege right now, but if you do, then that should be the best thing. Just being together, being together is the best thing. So here we got enjoy, enjoy, followed by the verb in the ing form, right? Question number three, what do you hate and dislike about the lockdown? Okay, so here's an example. I really hate watching the news. I really hate watching the news, or you could say, I really hate to watch the news. So both forms are correct. Um, so here I'm using the gerund. I hate watching the news, or you could say, I hate to watch the news. Uh, especially, uh, I, hate, I, hate, I hate to read uh, fake news on uh, social media. I hate to read negative news, and I hate to read uh, those uh, commentaries that are just a waste of time on, on social media. Now, dislike. Dislike is a gerund verb. Always needs to be followed by the ing form. So I'm going to say, I dislike using a facial mask. I dislike using this thing, right? I dislike using this thing. It's, it's suffocating. Uh, it's uncomfortable. Uh, makes you hot. Uh, but they say that it should prevent the spread of the disease. You just have to wait and see. You find out for yourself. But I personally dislike using a facial mask. I just have to use it because I'm obligated to. Number five, it says here, what do you recommend doing during lockdown? Recommend is a gerund verb. I recommend improving yourself. I recommend staying positive. So you can only use the verb in the ing form with the verb recommends. Yeah, absolutely. I recommend improving yourself. Take this time, this quarantine time, this solitude time to improve your, uh, to improving yourself. And, you know, I recommend improving yourself a lot. Do some exercise, read some books, take on some online courses, uh, clean up the house, uh, meditate on the situation, you know. So improve yourself. I recommend improving yourself. And, of course, uh, staying positive, staying positive. Uh, I recommend staying away from negative people. I recommend staying away uh, from negative news and, and reading negative posts on social media. I recommend you do the opposite. I recommend you posting uh, positive news. I recommend you doing your research. And I recommend, I recommend reading more about the, the true causes of COVID. And uh, I recommend finding out the truth about this pandemic. Number seven, six. After the pandemic is over, what would you like to do? What would you like to do with your life? This is a time of reflection. So what would you like to do after all of this is over? Well, here's a nice phrase to get you started. Once we're back to work, once we're back to normal, once we're back to the way things were, let's hope uh, things go back to normal. Um, I would like to go on vacation. Yeah, Mr. E would like to go on vacation. Uh, because we've all been under a lot of stress during this time. Uh, so I guess everybody, the first thing that they would like to do is everybody would like to go out. Everybody would like to go out, would like to go visit places, would like to travel, would like to get on an airplane, would like to drive their cars, would like to just go and visit uh, beautiful places in your countries. Um, you can use the reduction, I'd like to. Yeah, I, I'd like to. You know, I would love to, I would say that. Uh, but I would like to also swim in the ocean, you know. I would like to take my kid to the beach. Yeah, I, w I would like my little son to see the beach. And, uh, yeah, I trust we will do that. Okay, guys, so there you go. Uh, you got six questions for you guys to use uh, for practice here. Uh, COVID time, uh, pretty much you might get asked this in an interview, so it's better if you get prepared for it. Um, and better yet, um, refresh your jurings and infinitive verb. 